What is up guys? So I received a great question. I guess this is from my non-tech savvy people that when they're trying to buy phones, they want to know what is the difference between these skins, uh, what are they? So I wanted to go ahead and break that down. I don't want to make this like a 30 minute video of me going through every setting, but I kind of want to break it down and just try to make it as simple uh, as possible. So basically all these phones run Android. Of course, we have Oxygen OS, stock Android. Uh, One UI and then we have Mi UI 12. These are sort of I guess the most popular ones But you have uh, many more like the real Mi UI LG's UI uh, You also have color OS and stuff like that. So you have a lot of Android skins basically uh, manufacturers uh, they put their own little skin or customizations on top of stock Android. So let's go, let's start with stock Android. So this is what Android is supposed to look like. Uh, this is Android 11 on the Pixel 3 XL and it's very, very clean. So when you get Android or stock Android, that's the theme. Everything is super clean, super simple. They don't throw in a whole bunch of customizations really or anything. You're gonna see that compared to these operating systems. So this is how Android is supposed to look uh, from Google themselves. If I just like swipe up, uh, one of the first things you'll notice, uh, you only have the Google application. So on these phones, you'll have the Google applications, but you'll also have uh, other applications like the Samsung applications, the MIUI applications. Like on MIUI 12, you'll have the regular Google Chrome browser, then you have their MIUI browser, and just like Samsung. Some of the phones, you'll have the Samsung Gallery, and then you'll have your Google Photos. So you have like two copies of applications. So with stock Android, everything is pretty clean. It's only the Google applications. You have your Google Now page uh, over here. But what a lot of people uh, might not like is that when you go to customizations and stuff like that, like your home screen settings, you can see there's not a whole bunch of uh, settings to work with or customizations. Everything is very clean. So this is for people that aren't really going to mess with their phone and customize it and do stuff like that. It's for people that really just, you know, want their phone to work smooth. They don't want any of, I guess, the what they would call bloatware. I really, really wouldn't call it bloatware. Um, but they just want the you know the basic stuff so as you can see even with the toggles it's very minimal toggles as compared to some of the other operating systems that you're going to see or skins uh, so even if we go here you can see it's all your basic stuff like screen recorder your dark mode all that stuff all the basic stuff but stock android is very very clean uh, so that is the theme here even when you go into settings still very clean not a whole bunch of settings to play with not a whole bunch of customizations you can't really customize the uh, lock screen or the always on display on here it's pretty it just looks like this It's pretty simple you can go from a regular clock to analog but that's pretty much it um, it's very very basic so uh, that is you know stock Android that's how Google wants it to look so Octogen OS in a nutshell is pretty clean but it lacks some of the stuff that I like on stock Android so it's not perfect so uh, as you can see you don't have the Google now page you have uh, OnePlus is their page which I never use it's got some stuff on here like recent apps it's got uh, information here but I really never use it I 100% prefer the the Google Now page that we saw now I saw it on the OnePlus 8 but I haven't gotten uh, that update or whatever so maybe with the Android 11 update with this phone we'll get this page but I'm not sure but I've never used this page it's not as useful as the Google Now so uh, basically so one of the things we saw with the app drawer so if I swipe up of course you get kind of the same looking app drawer right but when you go to search you'll see you have music also have your photos so it's a little bit uh, they add a little bit extra stuff to it so a little bit extra customization uh, I can clear my history disable history um, there's a, you know a little bit more things to do and as you can see I have my buttons here all of uh, Android can go through the gestures or the buttons so that's all the same uh, but if I go to my home screen settings like we were talking about with customization now you can see I have way more options to be able to customize my home screen uh, settings now by the by default uh, yeah you can download a launcher and stuff like that but we're just talking about you know just how these skins work and stuff like that so as you can see way more settings I can mess with the launcher layout I can mess with the app drawer I can get really into detail with the notification dots I can even install an icon pack straight from the home screen so if I go into that OnePlus has it set up to where it's let me get on Wi-Fi because I'm super slow but they have it set up to where you can just go in here and download compatible icon packs and I can go ahead and change 
uh, the look of my phone. So as you can see, I, I would just go through here. I can buy one or get a free one, and then that will work fine. So you can see way more customization. So if you're somebody that likes customization, then uh, One UI is pretty good, and it's also uh, pretty clean. I like how everything is organized and stuff like that. And the icons are pretty much uh, on par with stock Android icons, which I prefer uh, that look. Toggles, again, you have a few more toggles uh, with Oxygen OS as well. So, of course, you're going to have all your typical stuff. But you got your screen recorder. I think uh, you have a VPN. It's just little stuff like the Zen mode and stuff like that. Your bedtime mode. And also, one thing I really like is if you want to give your phone to somebody else, uh, you have this uh, guest feature right here. So you can go ahead and it'll, just like Windows, if I logged out and then logged into another account, a guest account, it's, it'll be just like Windows. So I thought that was pretty cool. We go into uh, settings. You can see we have more settings uh, than on the stock Android one. So if I went to customization, you can see now I can get into a whole bunch of customizations and stuff so this is where people that like to play with this stuff I want their phone to look a certain way I can customize the animation for the fingerprint just little stuff how the icons look as well the text so it's just little stuff in um, oxygen OS and I just think it looks really clean as well it's also very fast oxygen OS does a really good job with updates and stuff like that so it's just a little more customization but it's not too uh, crazy now now, One UI from Samsung is probably the most popular skin. This is the one that everybody uses on Android. I think this is one of the most uh, beloved features on here. I really love this. So you can open up two applications, you know, split screen like that. I really love that. I wish that was in every Android phone. You could just set two applications that you want to split screen. I just think that's awesome. Really smart on Samsung's part. Um, also, if we keep going, you can see we have our little shortcuts. Uh, that we can do we also have a compass tally just have this little uh, shortcuts that uh, make it easy to get to stuff and it just looks cool your weather and stuff right here so I really like that uh, with the one UI one UI also uses the uh, big speed uh, thing which I don't use at all let me sign to my Wi-Fi so Samsung has this uh, news page here right here and it's got the Bixby integration like I said now this is something again I don't really use uh, on here like I said I prefer the Google now but it can be useful uh, you can go ahead and customize it to what you want to see uh, but again I never really use it but you can see they have their their own sort of implementation of Google now so you can decide whether that is you know better or not also Samsung does their icons different you see you have big bigger sort of icons by default and uh, uh, definitely has more colorful uh, kind of feel to it and a lot, what a lot of people don't notice is you actually have folders inside of your app drawer on One UI which is pretty cool because Samsung loads this phone with a ton of apps so you can see you have the Play Store but you also have the Galaxy Store so a lot of people uh, you know if you love Samsung applications and stuff like that uh, then of course it won't be a problem uh, but like I was like, like I was saying so you see how I have the gallery app but by default I have the Google Photos app as well so it can be annoying when you're like tight on space I guess and you got like two applications and it's just kind of weird but overall it's not it's not too bad uh, but I do like how Samsung does their app drawer the UI feels super smooth and stuff like that um, and also you can get to your voice assistant you know from here uh, as well and let's go to your toggle Samsung has some really good toggles one of the things I really love about um, one UI is that you have your secure folders on here which I think Samsung does it the best so if I basically if I wanted to hide a certain application uh, from somebody and then I would be able to uh, do that on here and uh, let me actually go and show you yeah here secure folder right here so if I go ahead and turn it on and then I actually go to my um, secure folder I will put my you know pin in or whatever and then it will open up a I will be able to customize and open it up and then I would be in my secure folder so if I wanted to download a certain application but I didn't want anybody to know I had it I will be able to do that uh, on here uh, which is really nice so that's one of the things now Samsung also has Samsung deck support now it's not on this uh, a51 you have your link to Windows so basically if I want to pl plug my phone in and turn it into a desktop 
or uh, you know put it on the TV I would be able to do that with this phone which is really nice so they they all offer you know the little things that little features that people like and a lot of it comes down to the looks now with Samsung you have a ton of customization and uh, a ton of options so you can customize your side keys and stuff like that uh, you also have your smart pop-up which uh, let me go ahead and show you guys so I can open that smart pop-up view so it opens like a window pretty much and I can go ahead and uh, shrink that down to a bubble open it back up so that's a little cool uh, feature that I've always uh, like you can also lock certain applications on one UI too so if I wanted this to stay in memory and not close when I uh, exit out all of my applications and stuff like that so there's little stuff like that with the Samsung operating system that a lot of people like uh, the little features and stuff like that which I think are really cool so all of these phones have your one-handed mode and stuff like that and they most of them also have a you know game launcher and stuff like that too uh, to be able to have your game customizations when you're gaming uh, all those options to pop up now MIUI 12 is um, they sort of do the same thing with Samsung where you have their applications and then you have your Google applications like you have the Mi browser and stuff like that so they have theirs they have a really interesting uh, app drawer too um, as you can see it's sort of set up like this in sort of um, you know uh, categories uh, which is really cool. One of the things I like about MIUI 12 the most is just the snappiness. I think this is one of the smoother feeling uh, Android skins. It just feels super snappy. And they also have their little page, which I never use. I, this is probably the one I never ever use. It's just, it's got a bunch of random stuff, which you can customize and stuff, but honestly, I just never use it again. I've already you know, explained how I feel about that, but again, I love MIUI 12 because of how bouncy and how it just feels super super smooth that's one of the main things and you also have a ton of settings that you can mess with as well and I look I like the look of MIUI 12 everything looks really really good uh, so this is one of my favorite looking skins uh, as well you can see I go to more we have just a ton of home screen settings and stuff like that I'm not going to go through all of them uh, but just a ton of stuff that you can play with and something that I really really like so if you're really into like customizing your launcher and stuff by default this is going to be a awesome uh, you know option here um, also for toggles uh, you do have a lot of toggles too uh, this actually has the R IR blaster which is really cool so you have that toggle you can just hit and control uh, your TV or whatever um, and that is really awesome they also do their floating windows really cool too so let me show you guys uh, that so they have their implementation like this where it pops up and it goes into the corner and that's something that I've always found was really cool so it just sort of pops up and you can sort of drag it uh, wherever and if I wanted to get rid of it I would just swipe up so I've always thought that was like a really good way uh, to do that I've always loved that and th they again have a ton of uh, customizations uh, too so if you go to additional settings and stuff like that you have a lot of stuff to play with you also have your special features and stuff like that video toolbox floating window you also have a second space on here and you can also go into light mode which is pretty nice I think Samsung also has that too where it kind of makes your phone uh, less visual for I guess like older people or something like that uh, but MIUI 12 awesome feeling one of the best feeling uh, skin so basically just a little quick rundown uh, of them like I said my favorite is probably still uh, when you are not when you are but oxygen OS I think it's the best of all of these uh, but what do you guys think what's your favorite skin and I'll catch you guys in the next one